Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with Brad and the critters, of course. And we just got home. Uh, Brad had physical therapy. And then we thought we were going to go to the senior center and check them out. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm really ready for that. I don't feel like I'm a senior senior yet. And it's for anybody over 50 and over. But, like, I don't know. That's kind of a hard hard pill to swallow. I couldn't swallow it today. <laughs> so, you know, we probably will. It's, it's a free membership, of course. And like you, they have a swimming pool, even that you can, you can swim in for free. So indoor. So that's a big push. So anyway, and then I wanted to go to, I end up not getting my blood pa panel done and it's been rescheduled for Tuesday, but, um, we went, I don't like the Dollar Tree necessarily here in Rocky Mountain. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't really like how it's set up and it's really big and hard for me to navigate. So I love the one in Nashville, North Carolina. So and it's not very far away. So <clears throat> Brad told me down there so I could get some things. And I was going to show you guys a quick little Dollar Tree haul. So um, let me see. Can I throw in a quick comment? Yeah. In Casper had two Dollar Trees, and you seem to prefer the one out on CY because mm -hmm. it was a little bit, it was a smaller store. And it was a little bit bigger. Oh, was it bigger? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking it was smaller than No, the it was one. a little bit bigger. Oh, okay. But it was newer and stuff. I don't know. I kind of flip flop between the two. Sometimes I would go to the one I was used to, um, and then I sometimes I'd go to the one a little bit closer to the house. So, um, you know, it kind of depended on who would work in there and, you know, if I kind of struck up a little bit of a friendship with it. It was a real sweet gal that worked at the Dollar Tree there in Crawfordville, and she was about our age, and yeah, I really I did like that. her. Um, so, but everybody here was nice. I was joking around with the cashier cashier and stuff. So, anyway, let's get this show going. I They have a really nice craft section there. So I got, I like to use this, I paint with this stuff. This is glitter glue, and I will accent stuff. And um, so this is silver, copper, and blue. And a pretty big, you know, size. Each one is almost two ounces. So, and then I got another one, which is the silver, red, and gold. And, yeah, I mix medium big time. So, <laughs> So, I got this little electric nail kit. Um, so we'll see how it does. This. i never seen them before. And for a buck, you know, I can put some batteries in it. What kind of batteries? A double A. So, I'll try that. You know, it comes with three different tips. Basically, you know, like on your toenails, when you want to smooth stuff out. I have the urge to paint my toenails. I don't know why. I normally never do, but I'm going to. So, um, I got um, cuticle trimmer. And the thing, I can't quite find all of my stuff. I got for the feet, I got this um, two in one foot file for my feet. And, and I think I'm gonna, Brad's going to have me work on his feet a little bit there. Um, I got, I love these, these brushes for between your gums. I absolutely love those. Um, I got some more of these, um, floss picks. So I got this kind, and then I had never seen this kind, and I got this kind for Brad, and this is charcoal flossers. So, you know, especially Brad, uh, has a lot of, uh, uh, cavities and stuff that we need to have taken care of so um that he needs to have taken care of but for now he he needs to when he eats you know how you get food caught in, in places so this is just another pumice stone for the feet which will be nice i got a new eyelash curler because mine was just ugh. that's some toothpaste for brad fascinating uh -huh. uh, i can't find all my fingernail polish even though my friend curl sent me a bunch so I just picked up a red and a purple. That'll be enough for now. Um, I'm trying to kind of keep some of this stuff 
divided up some of it for Brad. And, you know. Let's see. But yeah, those little flossers, basically bad. You just kind of lost with it after a yeah. meal. So, I'm going to be doing, doing pedicure on myself. And let's see. What else? Where else? I thought I had three bags. <clears throat> Is there still one way over there, sweetie? Where? Over, like, underneath the box flat. Underneath what? Okay, yeah, because I set one, two, three. Oh, yeah, there, okay. I'm having trouble counting, evidently, these days. <laughs> well, and you have been so tired today. I have. I've been really, really tired lately. I'm, like, falling asleep all the time. But I got a pencil sharpener because I can't find mine and I need to sharpen my, my pencil. I got this for, um, I'm going to be doing a wreath for the kitchen. And it's these little chalkboards. So you could write like little, little, uh, like menu today and stuff. I have some ideas for that. I got a few bigger ones for that too. Uh, thought they were cute. Um, I got this mainly for Brad. Um, it's a craft knife, knife set. And it's got all the different blades. Like an exacto knife. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then I also got him some Papermate gel uh, pins with the grippies. And I think you'll like those. Because mm -hmm. we can't ever find a pen to save our life whenever we, you know, we end up talking to a lot of medical people and different people on different things. Like trying to get the roof on this trailer fixed and stuff. And you never have a pen. I got myself some gel pens. So I could do the thing. And let's see. I got um, two of these. Because I'm going to be doing a wreath for my room. I'm not doing one for Brad's room. I don't think he wants one. I got the dogs. The big dogs. Two of these. The cat's knocking stuff over. And then I got <coughs> jelly bean. A smaller one. So that'll be nice. Then I got um, some more of the. <clears throat> if you guys are looking for a way to do your glitter easy and not near as messy, and so you don't have like a ton of it, you get some of the glitter glue. You can get all kinds of it at your Dollar Tree. So I got some of this. This is a lovely. If you see that, and it's not really a red, it's kind of a dark, dark pink, but it sure is pretty. And then I got one of my favorite is always just the iridescent. And you can put, if you're doing a painting or <coughs> a sign or whatever you're doing, you can use this just like you would paint with a brush. Now, it gives it a There's like always many, many, many layers to a painting that I do. You know, easily there's at least 10 different layers. So, and that's fine. I mean, it may take you two layers and you're done. Maybe you'll sit and do in one sitting a complete painting. Depends on the size, too. Or it may take you 10 or more. It, it's all. You know, I got this little caddy. I'm going to actually put my makeup brushes and stuff in in this. So I thought that would be nice. You know, we're starting to get our rooms really set up nicely. Here's your flosser, kind of. Do you want to take a look at those? Oh, cool. Yeah, aren't they neat? I was trying to, you know, because we both use, use them. Um, I hate to get stuff. I have natural tea still here in front on the bottom and I hate getting stuff stuck in there with a passion. I got a couple books while I was there. Um, I think I spent in total $35. Um, I got this one called Hurricane Season, the Unforgettable Story of the 2017 Houston Astros and the Resilience, Resilience of a City. So I got that one. I mean, for a dollar, why not, right? And then I got Star Touch Stories. 
It's just short stories about different things people have gone through in their life. So I thought that would be a nice read. Um, and then I got the dog a little bag of treats because we always do. And so these are just the mini dog bones of peanut butter. And we'll see if they like them. You guys ready for a treat? Are you ready? Come here. Come here, my lovelies. Oh, I know. <laughs> Jelly Beans is like, I'm not too sure, Mom. Oh, yeah, she's eating it. There you go. They're just teeny tiny, so the big dogs get a couple. No? <laughs> Charlie is not too sure. But Charlie likes the peanut butter. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, you can eat that one quick, didn't you? Okay. Charlie, you better eat them. Girlfriend. Somebody really likes them all of a sudden. Who? Nixie. Well, she loves the peanut butter, too. Yeah. <laughs> you get out peanut butter and there, Nixie looks at you like, you want that? Give me something on you. So, yeah, these aren't bad. They're dog treat poppers. Gourmet pet treat bakery. Peanut butter. But mini bit bones. So, something different. I was looking for something that I could share one bag among all three dogs. Because, you know, a lot of that stuff is like one pig ear and stuff. And, uh, you know, I didn't want there to be any fighting. There was a little bit of a size difference. Oh, man. I got We got home today. We didn't go, we've been gone all morning. And, um, uh, Jelly Bean was just frantic just to get to me. Come here, Jelly Bean. Come here. Come here, baby girl. Come here. You wanna, oh, oh, I didn't show you guys this. I almost didn't. Cuticle remover and pusher. So, yeah. And that's it for what I got. Come here, baby. Oh, and I did get some hand sanitizer. So, you know, the little, so smaller bottles. And they come like in a two pack. So I got um, that. I got it one of those, but it stays in the car. Because even though, like, around here, we don't have to wear masks unless you're going into a medical place. Um, some people still wear masks, some people don't. Um, uh, I think everybody should still be hand sanitizing and everything. I mean, let's not just think that the threat is over completely you know so but yeah this sweet little girl is just just uh, she's amazing guys she 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 plays and she she you see she's very attached <laughs> and um she's just such a little lover she just i have never had a dog that had just been glommed on to me just so fast and um this little girl does and it's so funny because we have linoleum in our kitchen so she'll go and it's so the bedroom's carpeted then the short little hallway and, and the kitchen and the laundry room are all linoleum so she'll go and she's running just just like crazy right and what is that treats no this is oh <laughs> it's your flossers and they want it um Anyway, she'll go running, and then she'll hit the skids, because we figured out she likes to slide on the floor. And yes, don't look at my hair. I'm coloring it here in a couple day or two. I need to. <laughs> yeah, they all think it's their treats. I know. You know. Um, Can I say something? Yeah. Remember that uh, lady? She was in the passenger in the car next to us there at Dollar Tree. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Here, here, they want you to give them some. <laughs> They're all waiting for him to give them Nixie. treats. Um, we pull up, and I have some anxiety about being out in public. And I'm working on it hard. And so I was going into Dollar Tree alone because Brad had had physical therapy, and he was really hurting, and he wanted to just sit in the, in, the, in the Jeep. And that was no biggie. I needed to get used to going into places. And doing doing stuff like that, and we pull. Well, this van pulls up, and this guy gets out, and Brad looks over, and he got she's smoking a joint, and she was, she was smoking a joint, big as could be, didn't care, like okay, you know. But yeah, it was amazing. Um, but uh, I did it. I did well. 
I walked all through Dollar Tree and, and yeah, my back hurt, but a couple of times I felt like giving up. And I'm like, no, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing great. I was my own cheerleader. I'm like, you can do this. You're doing it. But yesterday I did work out and I'm tired. Sorry if I'm talking kind of loud, but there's Brad is giving the dogs treats and the crinkling. So it's no biggie, honey. You can't help it. But, um, uh, I did do the exercise bike to Peddler, and I don't have my exercise bike moved in there quite yet. And I did um, the resistance bands on the arms, which was kind of difficult for the shoulders, but I managed. And then I did some little bit of meditation, a little bit, uh, three different yoga poses, starting out small, because I don't want to kill myself getting in some of those poses now. <laughs> you know, so... um. I know some of those look like they could be fatal. Yeah, well, I'm just doing the beginner ones, but yeah. and uh, But it felt good. It felt good to just take some time and just, you know, kind of center myself. And, you know, now what did I do? I didn't paint yesterday and I wanted to. But I probably might today. I'm not sure. Um, so, and we watched some episodes of Criminal Minds, even though, you know, Things in, in in your marriage evolve and stuff. I mean, we're still best friends. And, you know, he still comes in and, and sits on my bed at night and we watch Criminal Minds. And then we might watch some of our YouTube channel. One of our favorite ones right now is The Crystal Collector. And we really enjoy watching this, this guy go all over the United States um, and getting crystals and so that's got brad really enthused again about the rock tumbling um and and all that goes with that and that's another reason that brad is going to be is working really hard on being able to walk better because he wants to be able to he wants to be able to walk like he used to and even if you could regain half of that wouldn't you be happy i mean even if you went a lot slower but you could walk you know and he's working hard on it and he has exercise uh, homework from physical therapy. He's not using a rollator in the house now. He's just using a walker. And like when he goes to California, he'll take my rollator because I don't use it. And why buy another one? He can just use that one. And um, but yeah, we're still best friends. There's actually no fighting now. There's no anger, right? Do you, she got old. What? I was going to back you up a little bit. Okay. My therapist yeah. got ticked off at me for pushing it too hard. Well, she's right, though. We talked about that because he pushes it too hard, and then he comes home, and he's just dying because he's pushed it too hard. You, What do you always tell me when I start an exercise regime? Not to overdo it. Because you and I are both so bad about that. You know, we're like, no, if 10's good, let's do 20. Well, that's nice when you're 20 or you're 30. But when you're our age, you know, you need to kind of take it easy, especially because if, if we injure ourselves with the diabetes, it takes so much longer, you know. So you need to listen to her, Bradley. Yes. No, you're going to do what you want to do. But no, actually, there's no fighting or anything. I mean, I know. A lot of you meant well, but Brad and I have to make decisions regarding our marriage that work will work best for us, not anybody else. You know, we're always going to be a part of each other's life no matter what. I mean, you don't spend this long with somebody to not have them be part of your life. There's no, there's no hostility. There's no anger. We've worked through all of that. We've talked through all of that. You know, and you got to forgive and, and go on because none of us are perfect by any means. I know I'm not. Brad's not. You know, Jelly Bean pretty close to it, and so so with Nixie and Charlie. But you know, they're doing really well with with Jelly Bean being in the house. So for Charlie, every once in a while, just like he does with the cat, where he want he takes and he puts his entire big old mouth over their head. Not to hurt him or anything, but it's almost like, look what I can do. And then I like Charlie spits the cat out. Charlie spits the puppy out. 
And then they will sit there and just kind of shake their head like, you know, they just had Moby Dick try to swallow them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, things are going well. We're both getting our room set up. And um, I've been writing a list of things I want to get done every day, and that helps. Um, the Ozempic that, that we're on, <coughs> Brad really does have the side effect of the upset stomach. He really goes through that. I'm lucky enough I don't. The first night I took it, later on I had a little bit of an upset stomach, but it passed. But when I took the second dose, nothing. So I've been lucky there. Um, you know, I do find I eat less. That's good. That's always good. So I think with eating a little bit less and exercising more, I have a nice slow weight loss. You know, making permanent changes instead of a crash diet. You know, I do greatly disagree with, uh, like when I was looking at weight loss surgery, about what they were going to have us do to drop pounds before surgery. It's like, you know, these crash diets are not good. I mean, I just I just disagree. But, I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything, so what do I know? So how do you like that pick? I like it. Do you? I had to go and pick because they had some bigger picks that had bigger handles that I thought might be better, but I think you used the pointy part. And it, they didn't have the pointy part. They just had the flosser. And I thought, well, he used the pointy part. Charlie and Heidi. Oh, let me tell you. Did I, I don't, did I tell you guys about the dog food? I don't know if I did or not. We get a knock on the door a couple of days ago. And it's this gentleman, and he tells Brad, well, I found this bag in the middle of the road. It had my name on it, and I guess he tried to message me through Facebook, but, you know, I wasn't on Facebook, and I hadn't seen it about the dog food. He brought this all the way up, 40-pound bag of dog food. Evidently, FedEx, it dropped off the back of their truck. They've never noticed yet. I'm still waiting on my laundry detergent and all of that. It was supposed to be here Monday, still not here, Thursday. Yeah, and it keeps saying every day out for delivery, and that's through Walmart.com. Sometimes you got to watch them, you know. They get Brad's birthday present or ordered because, you know, for my birthday, he got me jelly beans. You know, we had to pay, we had to pay a rehoming fee. She wanted three hundred dollars, and I talked her down to a hundred because that's all I had at the time. And she agreed, and so I wanted to get Brad something that he would use and use and use. No, no matter what happens with us, you know, and if I don't live here and stuff, that he will always have and enjoy, and especially with the disability and stuff. And he's always wanted a jigsaw, so. We've been watching them, and we even watched some reviews on YouTube. And one of them was the Ryobi, and um, uh, they had dropped it all of a sudden on Amazon. It was $166, and they dropped it down to 100 And I talked to him about it, and, you know, he said, well, yeah, let's get it. And I'm like, why don't that be your birthday present? Because, and he is so excited, aren't you? They can't hear you nod your head, honey. They can't hear the rattle? No. Yeah. But yes, I am very, very excited, especially, see, a friend of mine had a um, scroll saw, and I, I never... Is that what it is? It's not a jigsaw? No, it's just, oh, yeah, it is a jigsaw. Is it the and... same? Basically the same or not being with a scroll saw, a jigsaw, something saw. But this friend of mine had one. And all the pieces he was doing was all the real thin, like a mm -hmm. quarter inch or less. And, you know, and I thought, well, that's pretty I, much worthless. I mean, you know, because when you're doing pieces that small, it kind of uh, kind of eliminates the, um, the, you know, a lot of your options. But it's like this one, and it'll do a, a two-inch piece of pine. And uh, yeah. I am very excited about that. Yeah, so that'll be, you know, that's exciting. And um, I was going to 
look to see what it said on it. That'll be in next week. His birthday is on the 12th. Brad's it. So, um, that's what he wanted, and that's what, you know, he'll have that for a long time. He can do that here in the house. And, um, because basically the third bedroom is basically going to be his workspace because, you know, it's very hard to, to lug everything outside. I mean, he's going to have to do some of it outside, like the sanding and some of that, but I want him to have something that he can do inside. Because, uh, you know, it's not any fun when you can't, you have all this equipment, but you can't use it. And years ago, when we were in, in Wyoming, he had a garage and had it all set up, but he didn't have any time. And also, uh, during the winter, he didn't have any heat. Yeah. So, it'll be uh, arriving now on July 30th. That's exciting. And what does it say it is? It is a scroll saw. Ryobi 16 inch scroll saw. And, um, whoa, wow. What? We, I got that yesterday for $100 and like 25 cents. It is now $176.99. Wow. Normally, this scroll saw costs $219. So I picked that up for less than half price. Isn't that something? Wow. I knew yesterday when I, when I ordered it, and that's why I jumped on it, talked to him right away. They had two left. So. And that's, like I, like I told you, that's probably what they were doing. Yeah. Is getting rid of Jesus. last year's model. Yep. Brad don't care. Mm -hmm. Brad won one of these for years. And like I said, Brad is... It's got a, a, he can create, he doesn't think he can, he, just because he creates differently than I do. He, he's more mathematical on, on stuff. He'll measure stuff out and all of that, which I'm just a freehander. And I can't draw a straight line to save my life. I can't hang a picture straight to save my life. You know, Brad laughs because you can literally walk in the house. If I've been hanging pictures, they will all tilt the same direction, though. Isn't that weird? But um, he's won one of these for years. And we got very, very lucky. I can't believe that. I got I so lucky yesterday. Because yeah, what I was doing is I was buying some, I want to do some sewing, and I was buying some Velcro strips for a project I'm going to be doing. And we had saved for later two different scroll saws. The other one was normally, I don't know what normally was, but it was around 122 But when I saw the price drop, and I think it was deal of the day, actually. And, um, yeah, so I'm glad. Well, what was it? Was it the uh, Alex? Alex? Don't talk about. No, don't say her name. No, because then she'll start talking. No. She flirts with Brad, man. But anyway, she tells Brad she thinks he's magnificent. But um, yeah, that was a deal of a day right after right after Christmas, five bucks. And I didn't I didn't know if I necessarily would really want her or not, but I thought Brad would have a great time with her, and he does. That's his mistress, and I fully support it. And he does music trivia. He loves being able to think of all these different songs and ask her to play it. You know, and then he'll ask you different questions and stuff. And, um, you know, they, he even says goodnight to her. And, and she, she says, says it back. And I got to hear those two when I'm in my bedroom. Because usually, usually we're done watching TV about 10, 30, 11. You know, and then I'm going to do my stuff. And um, whatever craft I'm working on and, and painting and whatever. You know, I got to have my time to do that, so. Right? Mm -hmm. Brad goes, he either stays out here and watches TV or he hangs out in his room. Getting his room set up. He's still working on getting that bathroom set up. He probably, I don't plan usually on days that he has physical therapy. Um, You know, we divide up the chores, really, that he's going to do much because 
he's hurting. So, like tonight, we just have leftovers and stuff, so that's good. So, that's about all that's going on. I mean, I know a lot of people kind of hoping it'd be some big drama with between Brad and I, and there isn't. I'm sorry to say that, no, we are not the drama people, okay? I just, I keep it real with you guys, so I wasn't going to fake it, but we're not, we're not, we, we have Netflix and Hulu and stuff. For that reason too, okay? But we're not, I'm not, it's not a big dramatic thing. There's no hate going on. We're not breaking dishes and, you know, anything like that. So, not on purpose anyway. <laughs> right? And, oh, I felt so bad for Brad the other day though. He was, a lot of times we'll eat dinner back on my bed. It's like a family. You know? Like last night we had all three dogs on the, on the bed with us. We were watching Criminal Minds, and yeah, it was a little cramped, but we, I, I loved it, you know, so it was all just happiness and love, so, um, but he, he was like, drop the olives, and he drops this and that, because about once a week, we'll have just basically kind of a cold dinner, I guess it's called, what is it, a char suey, not char suey, but it's something bored, and basically what it is a bunch of snacks. Char charcuterie or yeah, something like that. Yeah, and, and, and. You know, we've done that for years where it'll be like, it'll be like sliced ham and, you know, some kind of lunch meat and it'll be some different cheeses, some vegetables and stuff and some dip. And then, you know, we just, we do, we like that, especially in the summertime. So, um, yeah, so, yeah. Sorry to say, guys, there's no big drama. Um, it is what it is. And, you know. We will always be best friends. I mean, you don't spend that long with somebody. And, and I w never want to be half of a couple that goes around and just says nothing but bad things about the person you spend all that years with. What does it say about you if you're all you are is saying all this bad stuff about the other person? And then you spent, you know, all these years with them. Either either you're a dumbass, or you know maybe you're you just want people to feel sorry for you, and I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. You know we've had good times, we've had bad times, you know, and you know it is what it is. I mean, I'm a very blunt person. I think you guys kind of guess that, and um, that could be. Good and bad. I'm I'm learning when to say stuff, you know, when not to. But Brad knows I'm gonna keep it real, right? Uh huh. I mean, yeah, you do. I keep it real. Sometimes I keep it too real. But you know, we got one life to live. You got to be happy. You have to be happy. If you're not happy at the core of your being, you can't be happy with anybody else. Truthfully. You have to fix yourself. And I never really understood that before. When people would say that. I'm like, yeah, right, whatever. You can't look at another person and have and have your happiness be dependent totally on them. Because what if you're alone? Then you're just going to always be unhappy. And we all know people that always have to be with somebody. You know, they might break up with somebody and two days later they got a new one. Well, what is, I mean, I'm not going to judge that. That's, that's just how they are, I guess. But, you know, I want to be happy for me. I want to be happy whether I'm with somebody or I'm not. Uh, you know, because someday we're all going to be alone. You know, someday. Like that, Brad has to be happy on his own. Brad is... is, is is very excited about going to California. Well, he's very excited about flying in to spend some time with his brother first. And then they're taking an 11 hour trip up to in the California. And so that's a lot of nice time to be talking and, and stuff. There's a reason why I chose not to go is because it's kind of a guy's trip, just him and his brother. And you know, that's something that Brad really needs to do. He really needs that time. 
and I think it'll be wonderful for him. And that way, too, we talked about it, and he didn't have to worry about if I was comfortable. I have social anxiety, so, and I'm working on that, but, you know, I didn't want him to worry about if I was comfortable and, and you know, any of that. Because he wants, there's specific things he wants to do and see while he's up there in California. And um, it's um, a chance of a lifetime. I mean, who knows how long uh, Senior will be alive. He's turning 80? 83. So, you know, hopefully a long time, but you never can tell. So, I mean, it was very important that, that we get that done. You know, and, um, you know, I would like to go on a little trip. I'm not sure where yet, you know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's, it's, you know, they have cr cruises that are even like $200 and $300 right now, like three-day cruises, but they go out of like Miami and stuff. So, you know, that's, I'm not going to fly down to Miami to get on a cruise, and you're kind of watching the, you know, new strain of the, of the COVID and stuff, and, and being locked on a boat like that, so I don't know, I'll figure out something, I haven't really looked into it too much, you know, I might even just take an Amtrak trip, they have a, some scenic ones, and that could be interesting, so we'll see, um, you know, because they have their sleeper card and everything. So that would be nice. You know, time just to kind of be to yourself and reflect. And you do some reading, do some drawing, meditation. You know, so, who knows? But anyway, we just wanted to give you guys a short little update. It's never short with me. You guys know this. Oh, let me tell you one other thing. Okay, if you guys know anybody that has edema and if they have the leaky leg, they do make products out there. You look like on Amazon and like even surgical dressings and stuff. I bought this stuff that is kind of like a gel band-aid and you put it on and it seals any spot that you have leaking and it lasts for seven days. It is so wonderful, you guys, to be able to walk and you, and you can't even really see it after, you know, a little bit unless you look real close. But I can, like, I walked all over Dollar Tree and stuff, and I don't have my legs leaking everywhere. It's just, I was just so miserable and stuff, so I couldn't take it. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Sounds like you got it all covered. Yep. All right. Well, love you guys. And, yeah, that's walk the hat right there. Um, love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. <laughs>